In 2025, Indian Scout motorcycles defy simplicity with their lineup, which is anything but basic according to Indian's description. These bikes epitomize the cruiser ethos, embodying classic American craftsmanship with V-twin engines that blend heritage with modern features like cornering capability and technology. While performance is certainly part of the package, Indian ensures that the Scout's essence remains distinct and laid-back. This approach has proven successful since the Scout's debut in 2014, establishing it as Indian's flagship model. Globally, the Scout reigns as a top mid-displacement cruiser, pivotal to Indian motorcycles' future. It serves as an introduction to the brand, shaping riders' experiences and potential future with Indian, emphasizing the brand's commitment to customer satisfaction. To cater to diverse preferences, Indian offers five Scout variants for 2025. The Refined Scout Classic, the Rugged Scout Bobber, the Versatile Super Scout for Light Touring, the Dynamic Sport Scout, and the Assertive 101 Scout, boasting the most aggressive design in its class. Despite the array of choices, Indian maintains consistency by sharing core components among models, simplifying the decision-making process for customers while allowing for individualized stylistic upgrades. It's akin to selecting from a menu at a familiar burger joint. While the options vary, the fundamental essence remains unchanged. Key updates for the 2025 Scout platform include Indian's new liquid-cooled Speed Plus 1250 V-Twin engine, standard across all models. With a displacement of 1,250 cubic centimeters, up from 1,133 cubic centimeters, it delivers increased power, with the 101 Scout variant boasting 111 horsepower and others producing 105 horsepower, along with the claimed 82-pound FT of torque across the lineup, a noteworthy enhancement in performance and riding experience. The engine receives a comprehensive overhaul featuring significant modifications to the top end such as new pistons and larger valves, alongside a lighter crankshaft, resulting in a remarkable weight reduction of nearly 10 pounds. Additionally, a slip-slash-assist clutch is incorporated, addressing customer concerns about gear wine present in earlier Scout generations through meticulous refinement of internal components. While the redesigned airbox is less conspicuous, the new radiator steals the spotlight with a 20% reduction in size, ingeniously fitted into a revamped frame boasting a steel tube front section instead of cast aluminum. This shift to steel not only enhances the aesthetic with a lighter appearance, but also facilitates more extensive customization opportunities. In pursuit of a polished aesthetic, Indian meticulously organizes electronics and essential hardware, concealing most components behind the cast aluminum midsection of the frame. At the rear, a wide subframe enables accessory interchangeability across models, complemented by a redesigned exhaust system that creates additional space for accessory saddlebags, a departure from the bulkier dual muffler setup. Beyond these shared enhancements, the Scout variants diverge in several aspects. While the Scout Classic, Scout Bobber, and Super Scout feature 16-inch wheels, the more aggressive models boast a larger 19-inch front wheel. Suspension configurations vary, with all models equipped with a non-adjustable fork offering 4.7 inches of travel and dual shocks providing 3.0 inches of travel, except for the slammed bobber, which features non-adjustable shocks with only 2.0 inches of travel, and the 101 Scout, which boasts a fully adjustable inverted fork offering 5.9 inches of travel and fully adjustable shocks. The 101 Scout also distinguishes itself with Brembo front brakes and dual 320mm brake discs, in contrast to a single 298mm disc found on other models. Reflecting its advanced features, the 101 Scout commands a higher price tag of $16,999, comparable to Harley-Davidson Sportster S, and aligning mostly with the luggage-equipped Super Scout priced between $16,499 and $16,999. The remaining lineup ranges from $12,999 to $16,699, catering to diverse preferences and budgets within the Scout range. The wide price spectrum is primarily attributed to Indians offering of various trims for every bike except the 101 and Super Scout. Standard models come equipped with an analog gauge, LED headlight, and ABS, while limited versions boast additional features like ride modes, traction control, cruise control, and a USB port. 
stepping up to the limited plus tech trim provides all the aforementioned features along with a 4-inch touchscreen display, keyless push-button ignition, and ride command functionality, which includes turn-by-turn -turn navigation and more. Each model and trim level sports unique paint schemes and finishes, with variations even within the same model based on the chosen trim. From the classic with its abundant chrome to the more minimalist finishes of the Bobber, Sport, and 101, the array of options requires some thoughtful decision-making, as each choice significantly impacts the riding experience. Looking at the bigger picture, there's a consistent theme and a shared sensation among all the bikes. While pre-production firmware issues delayed startup on TFT-equipped Limited Plus tech models during our ride test from San Francisco to Santa Cruz and back, overall fit and finish are commendable. Controls feel sturdy, wiring is neatly concealed, and paintwork is pristine, save for minor imperfections like an unpainted surface below the fuel cap. The new exhaust system doesn't offer much excitement on chilly mornings, but once warmed up, the engine emits a pleasing low hum. Regardless of trim, the engine's aesthetics are appealing, contrasting starkly with Harley-Davidson's Revolution Max 1250T engine, which may leave some visual desires unfulfilled. Compared to previous iterations, the Speed Plus 1250 engine feels more versatile, delivering ample mid-range and top-end power, reducing the need for frequent shifting. However, while other components receive modern updates, the transmission remains unchanged and feels somewhat clunky and outdated. Getting going from a standstill proves trickier than expected, partly due to the new slip-slash-assist clutch lacking feedback at the friction zone and the lighter crankshaft, which accelerates engine response but doesn't offer much advantage in urban settings. While we gradually acclimated to the clutch after a few miles, these concerns loom large, particularly considering the Scout's primary usage scenario for a round-town riding and newer riders. Seamlessness reigns supreme in such contexts. However, the remainder of the engine delivers precisely what's desired from a cruiser platform. It offers sufficient power for enjoyable rides without overwhelming top-end performance that would feel out of place in a bike with 2 to 3 inches of suspension travel. Power delivery is predictable, with vibrations becoming noticeable only around 80 miles per hour in top gear. The engine's versatility accommodates a wide range of riding styles, making it an ideal focal point for the Scout in any iteration. As Ola Stenegard, Director of Industrial Design for Indian Motorcycle, aptly states, the heart of an American cruiser is the engine, and Indian has certainly crafted a robust one. Regarding the various versions and diverse riding conditions, after two full days of riding, navigating bustling downtown San Francisco and meandering along the picturesque coastal roads of Northern California on the first day, followed by traversing narrow Tulane roads inland from Santa Cruz on the second, we challenged ourselves to rank the new scouts from least favorite to favorite, yielding results that 